Welcome. We are getting started here with our <laughs> with our new student student life webinar. Um, we're excited to see you. I realized that maybe you thought last week we were done with our webinars, but we have decided we're going to show you a bunch of different ways to get involved in student life here at Lewis and Clark. Um, so. First up, we have a few different offices here to help us learn a little bit about some of the opportunities that you have when you get here on campus. Um, I'm going to introduce our panelists in just a minute, and then they're going to kind of share a little bit about their offices and ways that you all can get involved when you are here on campus. So um, just to introduce myself again, my name is Melanie McManaman. I am the coordinator of the first year experience here at Lewis and Clark. I use she, her pronouns. Um, and the panelists we have here today are uh, Rocky Campbell from the Career Center. We also have Tamara Ko from Student Engagement and Special Events. And we have Andrea Salier from the Center for Social Change and Community Involvement. We are in a webinar format, so you do have the Q&A option here. If you have any questions that come up throughout the presentation, you're welcome to drop them in the Q&A and we will potentially be able to answer them throughout the webinar. But also if um, more questions come up towards the end, you can ask them and we will host questions and answer them live after our different presentations. So, we are gonna start here with the Career Center. Um, Rocky, I am going to give you slide control. If you would like to click through, you're welcome to. Yeah. Thank you so much, Melanie. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, so excited to, to have you here, even though I don't get to meet you um, in this webinar style, but I'm looking forward to seeing you here on campus in just a, a few weeks. Um, as Melanie said, my name is Rocky Campbell and I use he, him pronouns, and I'm the Associate Vice President of student engagement and experiential learning. And as part of that, um, I help run our career center on campus. Uh, I am worked at Lewis and Clark for about nine years now, um, but I was also a student at Lewis and Clark. So many, many, many years ago, um, I was once in your shoes. And uh, one of the things I love about my job is helping uh, students, particularly when they get here, uh, really engage with all the opportunities there are to um, learn and experience Lewis and Clark in Portland outside of the classroom. And that's what a lot of us are here today to talk about. Um, you know, when you're in college, there's obviously the formal learning experiences that happen that are often graded, um, that may be a little bit more in the traditional sense of how you um, learn and are used to learning. But a lot of the experiences that you get out of going to Lewis and Clark um, are really about the experiences that you choose to connect with outside of the classroom. And so we have several offices, including the Career Center here today, to talk to you a little bit um, about how you might do that and why you might do that. And we're going to start to get uh, with the Career Center. Um, and I think we're going to talk about three things today, you know, try to be brief, and then we can answer your questions, um, is, you know, why would I want to visit the Career Center <laughs> um, in general at all, or even as a first-year student? Um, and then also like, how can you engage with the Career Center? There are a lot of different ways. And then probably one of the most common questions I get asked by first year students is, how do I find a job on campus? And so I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes really briefly to talk about that. And then I'm gonna pass it off to my colleagues here, Tamara and Andrea, uh, to talk about their offices. And so let me get here. So why should you visit the Career Center? Are, you know, I think a lot of people at first think that Career Centers are something that you should be worrying about at the end of college and afterwards. But I think here at Lewis and Clark, uh, we actually think it's the opposite. Um, and so uh, we want you to engage with our offices as soon as possible. And so some of the things that we can help you with here in the Career Center are exploring major and careers. I think this is one of the biggest things that um, students come to work with our office for as a first year student. Um, and just let you know, I think about somewhere between 25 and 30% of first year students voluntarily come and make an appointment with our office. And it's usually around this subject. Um, and, you know, while you have an academic advisor and a faculty advisor, sometimes um, as you're taking your classes and figuring out what's next at Lewis and Clark, you know, you have a lot of questions and you're not sure what should, um, 
what your next step should be. And our office can help with that. And so I like to say, you know, think of us as almost like a third advisor. And our job, we can help you look at it from sort of a forward perspective or a backward perspective. So if you have a sense of what it is that, that you want to do with your life, but you're not sure what the best way is to go about that, um, you can make an appointment with the Career Center and we would help you understand that. We might say, say here are some traditional ways to go about achieving that, that role or that goal that you have. And here are some non-traditional ways that you might be able to do that. And here are some other steps that you might be taking along the way to best prepare yourself to achieve those goals after graduation. Um, we can also go the other way around is that when you're taking your classes and you're exploring things, um, you know, you realize that you had a class that you really loved and you're just not sure you, you think you might want to major in. you don't know what you can do with that. And so our office would help you um, understand what are some of the traditional sort of jobs that go along with that? And what are some of the non-traditional jobs? Because your major does not equal your long-term career. And I think we're really big proponents of um, studying something that you love so that you can get the most skill sets out of that. And then we're also going to connect you with alumni and show you what our alumni are doing with those careers and with those majors and with those jobs. Um, I think some of the more traditional services that we offer are internship assistance, was just looking through this this year, we posted uh, 53,000 different jobs and internships for Lewis and Clark students. Our employment uh, team worked on that. Uh, job search planning, um, graduate school assistance, um, and any gap year guidance that you're looking for, our office would help with that. Um, I think when it comes to ways that you can engage, oops, we went a little too fast there. Ways that you can engage in our office, like one way that you can engage, it keeps moving on me here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Is that you can classically work with us is like, you know, attend an advising appointment. That's a really simple one. You can go to our website, you can schedule an appointment, you could schedule that appointment today. So um, if you schedule an appointment, we do virtual appointments as well as in person appointments, you can attend one of our events. Um, we have lots of events, both virtually and in person, we have lots of programs. One of the popular ones is our resume roundup that you'll see in the fall where you get chance to work on your resume, win prizes. Um, every week, you're gonna get a newsletter from the Career Center in your email. I'd highly recommend that, that you read that. It's gonna highlight a few internship opportunities, let you know what's happening. Um, we have an incredible platform that you'll be getting an invitation to in the first few weeks called Handshake. That's where all of our jobs and internships, there's a lot of Q&A around work. It's an incredible resource for you. Um, we also have a, a great resource library on our website that you can look at now. It has samples of how do you describe uh, your experience on a resume. It has sample first year resumes, um, a lot of different things. I think following us on Instagram is another great way to engage with us. Our students and our staff members are always having fun on there. Um, I think, however, like probably the thing in the first year that most students are really concerned about is finding a job on campus. Um, and so the Career Center itself is not the office that hosts the jobs, but we can help you with that process. So uh, the main thing is that you're going to want to go to the student employment website at Lewis and Clark, and that's hosted by our human resources offices. Um, I will say that I looked at it um, on Friday, and there were about, I want to say, 25 or 30 jobs posted right now. I will say that a lot of them were not um, ready for first year students. But as the school year starts, you're going to start seeing a lot more opportunities open up. I would guess even today, I think I saw another one get posted there. So just keep going back and looking for um, new opportunities. And definitely as the school year starts, there'll be a lot of job opportunities on there. You know, the best thing you can do right now is be ready to apply. So use the Career Center, use our resources to make sure you have a resume and a cover letter. Um, when you're going in that software, sometimes it's called Workday and you click on the buttons. Um, the first time you apply, there's going to be a button there that says apply externally. And I think that's an important tip to use that you do the very first time you're applying for a job on campus, because you actually have to set up an account in the Workday account. And it says this on the website, but sometimes that's where students get hung up when they're applying for their first job on campus. Once you've applied for one job on campus, you then can use the apply internally button um, that point moving forward. Um, if you're having any trouble with the actual like job platform, you can always contact the student um, employment coordinator on campus and he'll be very happy to help walk you through the technical part of the process if you're having any trouble with that. Um, my other tips that I have for you is, you know, once you've applied, 
uh, it's really important and helpful for you to follow up um, with the office that you applied for, um, just to sort of confirm your interest and introduce yourself to make yourself stand out um, in the resume applications uh, that they're receiving. Um, and that after any interview that you have, um, remind, remember to send a follow-up thank you email. I think, you know, it may sound like a, a boring or trivial thing, but there, there's small little things that help you stand out in the job search process. So those are sort of my general tips on finding a job on campus and how we can help. And our office is always here, you know, either before you get here, but also after you get here. Um, in addition to scheduling the appointments, starting the second week of school, we have drop-in appointments uh, where you can come in and just ask quick questions on how to apply for anything. And we're happy to walk you through that process. So I think it's, uh, that's it on my part. And I think I'm ready to hand it over to Tamara. Thanks, Rocky. So, oh, perfect. How does the, awesome. Oh, perfect. Well, unfortunately I can't see you all, but it's nice to, to see you. And thank you all for taking the time to participate in this webinar. My name is Tamara Ko. I'm the Director of Student Engagement and Special Events. I use she, her pronouns. I've been overseeing student engagement since 2020. And so super excited to welcome you all to campus soon and um, here to talk to you a little bit about student engagement. So student engagement, we last counted were about 120 student organizations. And so those are essentially uh, interest groups that your peers have started on campus. So if you are interested in gaming society, if you're interested in the tea club, we have those organizations on campus and we also have affinity groups in, in terms of our Black Student Union, we have our Asian Student Union, we also oversee Cub Sports, we oversee our student media. And so I bet there is something that might be of interest to you when you come to campus, but there, if there isn't, you can also start one. And so it's a Pretty, there is a process for starting a student organization, and I have a team of student staff who work at the student engagement counter here in Fowler Student Center. And so anytime you are interested in swinging by the counter, you can send us an email, make an appointment, um, just stop by, and you can ask about student organizations. You can ask about things to do on campus. Uh, a lot of my students are all involved across campus, and so they would be able to help you with any of those questions. Um, we do have a few events happening the first few weeks that you're here. And so we have Welcome Week, which is a compilation of all events happening across campus. Do check back. We have some events populated on that website already. You can go there by looking for the Welcome Week tab under the go.lclark.edu slash engagement website. And it lists some of, it will list our home games. It has open houses. And um, I, we will be populating that with more events as we get closer to your arrival here. Our kind of traditional event, which I highly, highly recommend that you make time to attend, is our annual Sea Fair, which is short for Student Engagement Extravaganza. That's happening the first Friday of classes. And so September 6, 3 to 5, it's going to be right by the academic building. We essentially have all of our student organizations and departments tabling. And uh, so you're going to walk out and you're just going to see 130 some tables and you can go to any table you want, find the club that you never would have thought you would want to join, find the club that you've been wanting to get in touch with and just check it out. We, um, we also, I've heard that our students love the dogs that we bring. So we always bring our furry friends from other neighbors to, to just come and hang out with us. And then the next day, uh, Saturday, September 7th, is our C Saturday market. We do, um, we essentially bring um, local vendors. And so we have food vendors, we have vendors selling jewelry, homemade products. We combine those with our student vendors. A lot of your peers actually have their own business. And so you can go there and check it out. And one really cool thing that we're doing this year that's new is that 
My office is collaborating with Andrea's office and we will have community organizations represented there as well. And so if you want to get involved with Portland, you want to go shopping, you want to buy something from your peers, it's all going to be happening on that Saturday at this market. And then if you, when you move in, you're finding that your walls look a little empty. We also do our annual poster sale. That's going to be September 8, 9, and 10. So that's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's going to be in Fowler. And, you know, check that out if you're looking for posters, um, looking for that awesome tapestry to go, you know, right by your bed. And so those are kind of a small sampling of what my office does. If Definitely follow us on Instagram, LC Student Engagement. We pretty much advertise exclusively on Instagram, but we also do put all our events on our board. So highly recommend that you swing by our counter. And again, that's um, right below the main cafeteria when you're in Student Center. And then also check out our website. And um, But super excited to welcome you. And I hope you'll be able to find something that you're interested in. And if not, we can help you create that on campus. And I'll pass on to Andrea. Hello, everyone. Let's see. Nice. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Andrea Salyer. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the director of the Center for Social Change and community involvement on campus and really excited to be here with you all. Um, so the Center for Social Change serves two main functions on campus. The first is to help students make positive social change. And that can look a lot of different ways depending on who you are and what you're interested in. So maybe you're super passionate about racial justice or climate change or reproductive justice or houselessness, you know, there's a number of different social issues we can engage in. Um, and we find ways for you to do that and help you do that. And maybe you don't know what you're interested in or passionate about yet, but you know you want to get involved and make change. We can help with that too. Um, the second thing we want to do is help you connect to the surrounding community in Portland. And um, Lewis and Clark situated in a really beautiful part of Portland, it's obviously a really beautiful campus, um, but there are so many different parts of Portland and different um, sub pockets in our communities that we want you to see that we want you to be a part of. Um, there's a lot of beautiful things happening around this city. So we help you connect to that larger community as well. And how we do that, it's through a variety of different programs um, and events. We offer a number of volunteer programs specifically. So if you're looking to connect with nonprofits, volunteer organizations, um, we help get you connected with those, with those groups and those community leaders. We also host a social change series and an activist series. So we bring speakers to campus and host dialogues. Um, and so different ways for you to think about social issues that you care about and connect with your peers around those issues. Uh, we also do a lot around civic engagement and political engagement, especially with an upcoming presidential election year. So you'll see us trying to get folks registered to vote um, once you get to campus. But we also like to host dialogues and get students thinking about how they might want to be politically engaged um, throughout their time here and just beyond in your in your life and what might be some of the barriers to that engagement. Uh, and then the last couple programs that I'll highlight, we have an immersion trip program where we uh, take students to different parts of the country or the world to do cultural exchange and uh, service and volunteer work. And this year we're going to uh, Puerto Rico uh, during spring break and you can apply for those trips. Um, and so there'll be more information about that once school starts in the fall. And our last program, the Nielsen Grant, the Nielsen Social Change and Innovation Grant, this allows you to apply for funds uh, to create a project that promotes social change in your community. Um, and it's one of my favorite programs that we have. Um, we've had a number of students uh, put together some amazing projects working with community leaders. Uh, so definitely connect with me um, or any of our students who work here if you're interested in learning more about that. So one of the ways you can connect with us is at our open house, which is uh, September 19th from 4 to 6 p.m. Um, you'll see more uh, information about that once you get to campus. We'll also be at the sea fair that Tamara mentioned. We'll be tabling so you can stop by, say hi to us, meet our 
um, our student staff um, and learn more about them and how you can get involved. Instagram is a, a great way uh, to see what we're up to in real time. So definitely follow us on Instagram. And uh, lastly, I'll do a quick plug uh, for our upcoming service day, which you may have been getting emails about. Um, and in fact, I'm sure you've been getting emails about. Um, we have, as part of new student orientation, we do a day of service for all incoming students. Uh, it's gonna be on Saturday, August 31st. Uh, and we're really excited. We're partnered with Saul, uh, which is an organization that does incredible work in Portland, um, cleaning up our city. And so we're going to be a part of that. Uh, and so I highly encourage you to pre-register. It's really important you do that. So it makes the, the actual service date easier. Um, I know some folks may have had issues registering uh, via our Give Pulse platform. And so if you're having any issues and want to connect with me, um, you can feel free to email me or I might be able to answer some stuff live in this moment. Um, but I guess bottom line, just stop by once you get here and um, learn more about who you are, what we're about, and how you can engage. Um, we're here to support you. And I think I'm going to pass it to Melanie. Thank you everyone for presenting, for giving us all these ideas. Um, I am going to pass it over to everyone. If anyone has questions, uh, feel free to open the Q&A, ask us some questions. Uh, there was one question before about, uh, can I go to the Career Center and they can help me with to craft an application? Uh, and the answer is yes. Yeah, we can help you in the Career Center to craft an application. You can schedule an appointment. Um, but also, once the school year starts, they have drop-in appointments with peer advisors that will not require an appointment. So keep that in mind. Um, and while we wait maybe for a little bit as people think of questions that they might have, um, I'm curious if you all maybe have one event or one thing that you're really looking forward to this coming school year that your office is um, maybe going to be involved in, putting on. Um, I know we've already heard a little bit about what you're doing this year, but something that you're really excited about. I, I mean, there's so much that I'm excited about this year. Um, but one thing that's just coming to mind that I think might be exciting to other folks, not just me, um, we're working with Student Engagement Camera's office uh, to do this mobile skate event. Um, and it's going to be on October 4th. And it's an opportunity for you to get skates for free and just like skate around our parking lot. And there's going to be DJs there. It's also an opportunity for you um, to donate money um, to a local organization in Portland. So it's part of a, a reoccurring event that we do in our office called Party with a Purpose. So we're trying to get students to think about um, philanthropy and different ways that they can engage with community outside of volunteering. So sometimes these donations can go a long way. So it's a chance to kind of party, have fun via skating and listening to music. Um, and also support the local community. So I'm looking forward to that. I personally really like our Saturday market. I just, I mean, it happens at the same time as our first home football game. And so there's just a lot of activity that's going on. Um, and then I would say uh, we have our annual dance that's going to be happening on, I believe, November 16th, which is fall ball. Student engagement works with our campus of, sorry, campus activities board to put this on. And so I think that's going to be a really good time as well. The dance occurs off campus and um, I think the venue might still be a secret, but we always look forward to having that. It's a chance for everyone to dress up or not if you don't if you don't want to dress up and just to go and dance. I think uh, all of the events that Andrea and Camera have uh, been are amazing events and you should all go and do them. They sound like so much fun. Um, and they really are. Uh, I think Tamara mentioned earlier, like Seafair, um, I think is something that you absolutely don't want to miss. Like it is 
the way to find out what is happening at Lewis and Clark. And it's just a fun and exciting time, like where everybody is out and about talking, you get to make a lot of new friends, uh, make friends with, you know, in, in interests that you share with people, and then maybe you learn that you're interested in things you didn't even think about before. And so it's really just a great way to sort of explore all of our different communities here at Lewis and Clark. Um, so I think like outside of like the office that I help directly oversee, I think those are some of my favorite things. I, in the Career Center, uh, one of the things I'm looking forward to this fall um, is our career trek, um, which is gonna be in over our fall break. Um, we started last year doing a fall break um, career trek to Seattle. And so we take a group of students um, uh, up to Seattle and they get a chance to um, explore a company or two and um, learn what it's like to work there. What are the skill sets they need? They get tours of the facilities, get to meet our alumni who uh, may be involved in those organizations and just start exploring like what does the world of work mean in these locations that um, were there. So last year we took um, a group to Meta in um, Seattle and we got a chance to, to ask a lot of questions of their engineers, have lunch in their cafeteria, then we got to have a networking event with a lot of um, alumni in the Seattle area um, afterwards. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And this year it was so much fun that we're gonna be doing it again, except uh, visiting a couple of different organizations and we're making it actually an overnight event this year. And so we'll be staying in Seattle and um, coming back. So I think for me, that's one of like the big highlights of the fall for the Career Center. Um, but I also think, you know, for a lot of first year students, I also really recommend the resume roundup competition that we have where you get feedback on your resume, you get it in a good place and you get a chance to get some prizes too. Thanks so much. Um, I don't see any other questions trickling in, but I do want to just um, give a shout out that kind of we're highlighting all of these different opportunities and ways to engage in student life when you get here to campus. And I just kind of want to reiterate that the first few weeks are going to be super exciting. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you can get involved in. Um, but just know that you are potentially and hopefully going to be here for four years, maybe longer. It's never too late to try something new, to get involved in something new that maybe you didn't start that first week or the second week of school. Um, there's so many opportunities and just coming from personal experience, I didn't find all of the things that I was going to do by my fourth year of college in the first couple weeks of school. So try to get involved in whatever you can, but also know that it's never too late to try something new and start something new. And as a little plug for something I'm excited about from our office is a uh, new student orientation. So <laughs> just wanted to give a little shout out that we are 23 days away, which is terrifying and so exciting. Uh, we have 23 days until we get to see all of your wonderful, excited faces on campus. Um, some of you might be coming earlier, um, but we're all gonna be together for that kickoff event on Wednesday, August 28th. And we're really excited to have you. So um, we can't wait and thank you so much for being here today. Uh, we will post this later this week and we look forward to seeing you on campus. Thank you.